Why did you decide on a rescue dog? Well, I have been dog broody, that's what I call it anyway, for quite a while. Um, and I finally persuaded my husband that I could you know, maybe get a dog. And we'd always said, we'd had dogs before, and we'd always said that if we were getting another, that we would rescue one rather than getting a puppy. Um, mainly because there's so many dogs out there that just need a nice home, need a loving home, and it frees up other cash and resources for other dogs that then have to go to shelters. Um, was there anything you were nervous about with um, adopting a rescue dog? As I mentioned, we've got two primary school age kids, um, so the main thing we're looking for and nervous about is getting a dog who would be good around them, not snap, be quite patient, um, all that kind of thing, and um, one who they would enjoy to have as well. So did you know the rescue centre already? We didn't, no. Um, we found out about the Greyhound Trust online and we saw that they had some dogs and that we would be quite interested in them. So we did do a bit of research, had a quick Google search and all the rest of it, um, just to make sure that they were kosher, they were a genuine, you know, um, Greyhound Adoption Centre. Um, and it was all good, so I gave them a phone from there. Start with the day that you met Molly. Like, how was that day? What, what was involved? First step, obviously, was to get in touch with the Greyhound Trust. Um, and the next day we got a phone call where they got in touch through their website. The next day they called us back and asked us a lot of questions and all the rest of it and arranged to come out for a home visit. Um, and the dog who we had seen online who we were interested in, she had already been, um, she'd already found her forever home. So Janice at the Greyhound Trust was really good. So she's like, well, I've got two or three dogs who might sound like they might um, suit your lifestyle and your family. So what I'll do is I'll bring the first one out and we'll see. So Molly actually came out to her home um, for a home visit and we fell in love with her. Um, it was great, she was just so calm and like didn't have any qualms at all about letting the boys clap her and the boys loved her. And um, especially when we were told it was the first time she'd ever been in a house, my husband's heart, you could actually see it melt. <laughs> you know, so he was just like, I want to keep her. Um, so that was that, we did all the paperwork and everything, um, not that day, um, that was over a couple of days and I think it was three days later that Molly came to live with us then, so we never actually went out to pick her up, she came to us just to make sure she was comfortable in the house and all the rest of it so we could see what she was like in that situation, so it was really good and really fast compared to what I was expecting as well. Okay, so what advice did the rescue service give you? Did they, uh, did they offer follow-up support? They are what I would call excellent because they just pretty much leave you to it unless you have any questions or you need them. They were very much in the case of do not hesitate. If there's any questions at all, get in touch with us if you want us to come out for anything, give us a call. Um, but at the same time, they weren't like well, two weeks time we're going to come back and check how you're getting on and you know you have to tidy the house and <laughs> all that stuff. Um, so yeah, they were very free with it. It was really up to the people taking the dog in how much or how little support that they got from them. So I would say it was perfect. It's exactly what we were looking for, definitely. So did the rescue centre have criteria you needed to fulfil to, to take Molly? Yes, um, the main one was, well, the two really were obviously a home that was big enough to accommodate her, you know, she's not a small dog. Um, and the second was an enclosed garden with at least a five foot fence around it because obviously she's fast and she can jump, so, you know, if you've got a wee two foot fence, that's not going to keep her contained. But that was really about it. They did ask about working hours and things like that to make sure she wasn't going to be at home alone for too long. And things like that but so how's Molly doing now you know, are there any issues or regrets and uh, no regrets at all and um, we are still working on recall training but that is mainly because we changed her name and um, when we got her she had a racing dog name it was called Havana Blonde um, and we decided we'd give her more a family name um, so we're still working on that and um, but she's doing really well she responds to her name a lot um, we don't tend to let her off the weed an awful lot unless we're in a confined space with nobody around because once she starts running at full pelt there is no calling her back at all. But I think that's quite normal with most greyhounds, they get the sight hound thing and they just go. Um, but no, other than that, no issues at all. We're all very happy. She seems to have settled in very well. 
My only complaint is that she often steals my spot on the couch. And I don't get it. So if you had to choose one piece of advice or knowledge to anyone planning to get a dog from a rescue, what would it be? Ask questions. Just don't be shy and ask them, even if you think it's going to be a really stupid question. It's not, just ask. Um, we asked lots of questions about Molly's background, how well trained she was when it came to house spray kind of things like that. And just, and it does help, it speeds up the process. You feel you get to know your dog quicker. And just go for it. There's so many dogs out there looking for a home that if you want a dog, it's the way to do it.